Hello guys! Welcome in the next lesson of the Kotlin course. Today we will start real coding. If you like the video, give us a thumb up. Remember about subscribing our channel and turning on notifications, so you will see everything. Hi again, it's me, I'm Radek from Duomi and today I will teach you how we can start coding with Kotlin and we will create first page of our augmented reality mobile Android application. We will focus some about a bit setting of new project, we will add some dependencies, we will create the new view, we will create the login form and few views. I would like to show you not only about the coding in Kotlin, that is of course super interesting, but about all the Android Studio setup and environment that you could do to have the application starting. Because if we will setting everything pro uh, if we will set up everything properly, next coding it will be just pleasure. It will be not problematic at all. Are you ready? Let's start! So, as the first, what we need to do is to create the new Android project, select the blank template, give the name, and I remember about set up the language as Kotlin and minimum SDK as the 27 API. It's really important. Fine, it looks like we have our project now. Now we need to add some dependencies like AR Core, the App Compat Sub support and design support. It's for 28 and actually we are targeting 29 SDK, so we need to change that for 28. Now we need to add the Maven repository into the build card project Dwomly AR dev and now in the Android manifest XML we need to add permissions for camera When we have all of the, the paperwork done, we can go into the main activity and start creating the login function. It will be super simplified login, so we will not need, we will not use the real login here. We will use a like hardcore password, and we will not focus on in the API calls yet, because now we are focusing mostly on the kind of front of the application and how to use the backend of the application and how to connect that Android application with existing backend we will be talking in the next episodes so let's do it like that now and focus on the screens and on the augmented reality here we will take the email and password by ID, next we will put it to the string and create some if condition that will check if the email and password are like, we will use an I know, example, warmly something.
So if everything is fine with password and login, we need to redirect user to the next view. We do this intent for that and start activity function. And if password and uh, username are not fine, we will show the Android toast message, like sorry your password is incorrect. Now we will be creating logo. Open SVG and Android Studio will create XML for us. It's really simple. Yeah, it's done. Now we can add logo into the design. We could do it by code, but this editor is are really simple and we can use code just to take a look on that and mostly what we will focus in it will be logic not coding the template and design here we need to set up it as a 69 for 69 so it will be much smaller and now we need to create few strings it's something that we can add here we can use translations easily for that but now we will create few of them to use for our texts And now we will start adding them. We we'll need few more components as well, it's not everything that we will use. Now we have the form, it's most already, we'll pack it into the container later, but now it's fine. Let's win the button here. Here we can change the color for the button or add some styles, we can do it manually as well in the code. But as I told, if we do just simple layout, it's much much easier to go by here than creating the code for three elements and what I would do, do to now is to create two times view next we will uh, transfer them into the layouts but now it will be view and it's something like container for our elements so we will have kind of better control of them now we can start working on creating the layout for that components.
and here we need to convert to the filtered layout so as you can see we have normal view of the components inside of course now we need to fix them and position again like components inside the view but it's easy and it's not a lot of work always you need to remember to add a dp value here otherwise you will have problem with compilation now we need to position elements and our layout looks good we had to fix this dp unit now we can focus on creating the next view it will be like dashboard page after the after the login page we need to create new string for the next page Oh, and actually, it's a wrong name, so we need to rename the page. And we need to center that. Now we need to create a new class as a dashboard activity that we will use just to show it. Actually, we'll take some logic from the main activity just to show the layout. We need to import bundle so the code looks fine and now we can to register new activity in the Android manifest XML. Do not forget to do it later we can add the context here and put it on the dashboard activity. So we will be able to use the functions from the activity later. And here we need to fix the dashboard activity. It's here. Oh, I forgot to set up the IDs for inputs. So now we need to do that. Let's go into the activity main. So by this we are able to get values from the activities. Okay, it looks like everything is fine. And actually, what is the most important now, before we will be testing the application, we need to add the login on click. So we will be able to start the login function. Let's start the emulator now and install application so we will be able to test. As you can see, it's invalid email password if it's empty. And let's try to login. Everything works. Congratulations. Congratulations. Now you have your first page of your mobile Android application with Kotlin. In, we learned how to set up the first views, 
how to set up application and we did some code in Kotlin. We created login form, we did a really, really simple login function without API, about API, etc. We will focus on the next episodes. And what is more important in the next episode, we will focus on adding first courses inside the application. So we will be able to add some e-learning module inside our app. It will be super cool because maybe in the next lesson we will start involving more augmented reality and showing some views. I'm not sure if we will not do it in the fourth or fifth lesson, but still, I think you should follow all of the lessons and build all the application in Android. Of course, in Kotlin, you can build the application that will be not only for Android, but for iOS as well. Now we are focusing on Android, but it is possible to build multi-platform. If you like the video, give us thumb up, subscribe the channel and turn on notifications, and see you in the next lesson. Bye!